Welcome to the IET. Uh, it is my pleasure and my honor to uh, welcome you back to the IET for Ada Lovelace Day Live. This is the second time that we have been hosted by the IET and we are very grateful for their continued support. Uh, we would particularly like to thank Joe Foster, the IET's Diversity and Inclusion Manager, for making today possible. The IET's Equality, Diversity and Inclusion Strategy aims to promote equal opportunity for all and highlight that STEM careers are for everybody. They are keen to support initiatives like Ada Lovelace Day that highlight the work of women in STEM and to help alter the perception of the profession and inspire the next generation. The IET themselves have created many award-winning social media campaigns that aim to raise the profile of women in engineering. The most recent is their Smash Stereotypes to Bits campaign, which takes the stereotypical idea of a pillow fight and turns it on its head using real women engineers and engineering ingenuity. Some of these engineers are here this evening and you may already have met them at the IET's Women in Engineering exhibition earlier. Now, today is the 10th Ada Lovelace Day. Ten years ago, my frustration with the invisibility of women in tech reached boiling point and I launched a day of blogging to celebrate all of the amazing women, including Ada Lovelace, who have helped create the modern world. I honestly thought that it would end up being me and a few friends writing blog posts about people that we knew. But the idea behind Ada Lovelace, Ada Lovelace Day really caught the zeitgeist, and in the end we had 3,600 people sign up to take part. Uh, an appearance on the BBC News Channel, a huge amount of press, and the nagging feeling that I might have started something a little larger than I had anticipated. Ada Lovelace Day has changed a lot over the last 10 years. We are no longer just a day, but a year-round project that aims to inspire, inform, and advocate for girls and women in STEM. We've produced two books, a series of posters, to which we are now adding a new one, thanks to Stack Overflow, as well as crochet patterns, a podcast, a resource database, a careers fair, HR advice for companies, and a free education pack for teachers. We've grown a little bit too, turning from a day of blogging into a day of events. In fact, a week of events, sometimes a month of events. 
and these happen all around the world. This is our biggest year yet. We have over 170 events in over 105 towns or cities in 16 countries with at least one event on every major inhabited continent. Uh, we still have a little more work to do on Antarctica. We have our first ever event in Armenia, our first in Doha, as well as events in Brazil, Croatia, the Republic of Korea and South Africa. And every single one of these organizers believes that girls and women have an important role to play in science, technology, engineering and maths. We've had a couple of surprises along the way as well. Last year on Ada Lovelace Day, the Coppola Winery launched their Great Women Spirits, launching an Ada Lovelace Gin. This year, Francis Ford Coppola himself is taking part in an Ada Lovelace Day event in LA, eulogizing Ada Lovelace at the Hollywood Cemetery. And in July this year, Senator Ron Wyden introduced a resolution into the US Congress honoring the life and legacy of Ada Lovelace and designating today as National Ada Lovelace Day in America. All of this activity inspired by Ada Lovelace Day inspires us in return, and we continue to look for exciting ideas that support our mission. In the coming year, we will be working with the University of York and DePaul University in Chicago on a diversity workshop, which will be part of a global study into the dispersal of fungal spores. Our aim is to improve participants' networking and online collaboration skills and to create a worldwide network of ecologists to work on this project and hopefully future studies as well. That workshop will be a part of a major new project that we are hoping to launch early next year, an international mentorship and knowledge sharing network for women in STEM. Our research has shown that there is a clear need for an online venue where women can collaborate, give each other practical advice, share information, and develop peer mentoring relationships. Our new network will give women in STEM access to expertise and to support, no matter where they're based, no matter which subject they work in, and no matter who they work for. If you would like to help shape this project, then please do take a moment to complete our short questionnaire. Now, of course, that project and tonight, none of this would be possible without our fabulous sponsors. And I'd like to take a moment to give a special thank you to Deloitte, Shopify, and Siemens Rail Automation. I'd also like to thank Clarivate Analytics, Digital Science, SNC Lavalins Atkins, F. Hines, School Dash, UCL Engineering, Valerie Polichar, Present Indicative, Merrimorph Press, and Tom Paternoster Howe.